As you know, uh, negotiations uh, over a global trade deal have been going on since 2001 with little sign of success. Uh, Kisroff uh, says that rich countries have made several promises to agree a deal. What concrete outcome can poor countries really expect from the London summit on that issue? Well, I was at those talks in Geneva, those eight days of talks, when ultimately the World Trade Organization was unable to reach consensus and sadly the opportunity last July to get a successful Doha round was missed. I think there's been an even greater recognition since those talks failed in July that the whole world now stands to benefit from a global trade deal. I've made countless speeches making the case for a Doha development round to help the interests of the world's poorest people. But it profoundly matters now to British jobs, to British exporters, to those British companies that are providing services and goods around the world. My hope would be that the world will reject the protectionism that did so much damage in previous global downturns and use the opportunity of this London summit to reaffirm that we do need a global trade deal. The right forum in which to deliver that trade deal is not the G20, the London summit, but will be the World Trade Organization. But my sincere hope is that London will mark a step forwards in the trade negotiations where countries that represent about 85% of global productivity reaffirm the importance of finding a way through the difficulties the trade round has faced.